Hi, my name is Troy Anderson, and I'm one of the lecturers this term, Term 3, 2022, at the University of New England. I'm teaching a course this term on Commonwealth criminal law. It's only the second time the course has been offered. More importantly, it's the only course in Australia that deals with Commonwealth criminal law. If you are someone who works at the Australian Federal Police, Border Force, or any Commonwealth instrumentality, this is a course for you. If you are someone that wants to practice in crime, this is the course for you. It's unique and it's, if I have to say so myself, very, very interesting because it is a niche market. But who am I? Why would you trust what I have to say about this? My name, as I said, Troy Anderson. I'm a barrister. I'm a senior counsel and I practice in crime. I'm the Deputy Senior Public Defender for New South Wales. And when I'm not lecturing at UNE, I'm actually in court running trials for accused persons, particularly in the area of Commonwealth crime. I've also written the book, which will be your textbook. Very good, third edition. Uh, do yourselves a favor um, and get that. Commonwealth crime is really interesting. You look at things that are in the papers every day, terrorism, big drug importation, fraud, Corporations Act offences, the things that you read about but don't necessarily learn about when you're at university. And yet this is a growing area of criminal practice. Each year there's probably about 3,500 matters of these that go through the courts every year. And if you study this course, you'll have a competitive advantage over many of your colleagues who may never have come across this subject. This type of crime is a little bit different. Unlike, say, the New South Wales Crimes Act, which draws on uh, common law principles very, very heavily, the Commonwealth has its own code. Now, while the common law still has a role to play, the code is meant to be a unique document where you don't need to look at anything else. It's the complete answer. It creates the offences. It creates the fault elements and the physical elements for all of the offences. Some people find it a little bit complex. It's not really, but if you do the course, it'll demystify what often confuses judges and other practitioners. One of the things that uh, you probably want to know more than anything else is what are the assessment tasks? Well, there'll be two. There'll be a 2,000 word assignment and there'll be a 2,000 word take home exam. Now, the word limits will be greater if you're doing this as an elective for your masters. It'll be 2,500 for the assignment and 2,500 for the take home exam. How is it going to be structured? There'll be 10 lectures and there'll be 10 tutorials. Tutorials will be every week, probably on a Tuesday night. I'll take some of them and a colleague of mine by the name of Jonathan Emmett, who's a senior solicitor with the Commonwealth Director of Public Prosecutions, will also be taking some of those tutorials and some of the lectures. I really urge you to do this course if you're someone who, as I say, works at the AFP or with Border Force or who's interested in practicing in crime. Anyway, now's the time to enroll. I hope you sign up and I hope to see you in one of the tutorials and enjoy the course.